scared of claustrophobia. We need also to sedate them. Because some will know they are saying, I'm not breathing, I feel like suffocating. So in such case, we sedate such patients instead of having panic attacks. A patient can also be escorted, can be with a relative inside, or a, a guardian, and they will be able to do it. If I'm metal like aluminum, no, like <coughs> titanium, mm. it's MRI compatible. Oh. It won't, won't sit a metal. But if you have another metal like this, we are unable to do this hip, but you can do the other one. It's, but specific one, this one you cannot because it's like you are cutting a, you are cutting a metal using another metal. Hi, I'm Dr. Edwin Nana, one of the resident pediatricians at the Kaya Hospital. This is a department that has been in existence for a couple of years now, with a newly launched ward for inpatient services, that's the Amboseli ward. We also conduct outpatient services, vaccinations, um, here on the third floor of the Kaya Hospital. This is a department that has been in existence for a couple of years, uh, hosting both inpatient and outpatient services. The inpatient services having its own ward called the Amboseli ward that was recently launched last year. It has very many nice pictures all over to just help in the recuperation of the kids. We understand that they need a bright environment, good color, cartoons, pictures to facilitate um, are getting better. So in this department we like looking at a child holistically such that whatever brings the child is not the only thing we focus on but we look at we assess their growth, we assess do they have any delay in milestones for the younger ones, any speech delays, how is their weight, how is their height, how is their diet and being an institution that hosts many other departments we are able to work together in a multidisciplinary manner. For instance if a child has Problem snoring, we have an ENT who can look into that. We have nutritionists um, who also get into the whole malnutrition beat, overweight, underweight, you know, and, uh, a discrepancy in height for age for that child. Then we're able to address the child holistically. If you need any surgical interventions, and we do have surgeons in house, we're able to review our children and make sure that by the time they're living, everything has been holistically addressed. So pediatricians are available the whole week, Monday through to Sunday, um, every day 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for the Monday to Friday. On Saturdays we close the clinic at 12.30, having started at 8.30 in the morning. And on Sundays available from 10.30 all the way to 5.30.
We also uh, boast of an ICU in the event that we have very critical patients, be it from a road traffic accident, poisoning, a fall of a height, we are able to cater for that here with the presence of neurosurgeons as well and uh, neurophysicians and neurologists. We also look into their care when at home and so in that light we have come up with a nanny training where we are going to be training the nannies and the mothers on first aid, the basic first aid principles, be it a baby choking, be it a burn, be it a fracture, accidentally suffered well at home, they're able to do something quickly before they're able to reach the